This life-size realistic figure is a Japanese model of a samurai in full armor, called Ikiningyo or Living Doll. These dolls were originally made in Japan for display at temple festivals, but from around 1870 they were also exhibited at international exhibitions. It is composed of many different parts of exquisite materials, some of them very delicate. Years of displays have led to deterioration and this has taken their toll, requiring the immediate attention of the VI conservators. The fine and delicate paint layer on the arms, made with pigments and animal glue or nokawa, showed cracks, flaking paint and small losses. The areas of loss were filled with a fine gesso mixture. When dry, it was carefully sanded and toned down with watercolors, which provided a matte finish to match the original paint. The upper arms are made of stuffed paper and straw, lined with black thick paper. Years of handling and the weight of the armor had caused tears and gaps, changing the original shape of the arms. Firstly, Gampi tissue was colored with black calligraphy ink in order to match the original lining paper and then left to dry. Also, to bridge the gap between the torn edges, a shekishushi paper was inserted. Extensive areas of the rich brocaded silk fabric of the sleeves and the breeches had deteriorated over time. A conservation net dyed to blend with the overall color of the fabric was secured with stitching for an overall protection. Lastly, some decorative knots and trimmings needed to be consolidated. Using a fine brush, an acrylic dispersion was lightly applied over the frame textile parts. To protect the cracks on the inside of the armor, due to the flexibility of the surface, Japanese tissue was applied using the same adhesive. This is called facing and will prevent the flakes from detaching. Reassembling the object required the expertise of Greg Irvine, senior curator of the Asia department. The sleeves and breeches were fitted with inner mounts made with polyester wadding covered in silk. This gave support to the textile and contributed to the overall presentation. A pair of new bespoke metal art supports were fitted. They helped to relieve some of the stress caused by the weight of the armor on the fragile arms. The metal supports give the arms the correct display profile expected of a fearless samurai warrior. My name is Victor Borges. I work as senior sculpture conservator at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. And I was the conservation lead behind the redisplay of the Kiningyo doll.